A Christiansburg teen found by police more than 700 miles away from home is speaking exclusively to WSLS 10 tonight. As you'll remember, we were in Arkansas the same day that police found Asia Lewis as they worked to safely reunite her with her family. And now, more than a year later, Asia is opening up to WSLS 10's Don Jeffries about why she left town with 33-year-old Donald Quisenberry. Three teen girls missing in our area in the last month. Motes was found with 30-year-old Timothy Wigington. Their faces shared to help get them home, and they did. At least two were with older men, later charged in their disappearance. But the question rarely answered after their safe return, why did they go? I know that there's more to the story. Asia Lewis, now 18, survived a similar story. She wanted to talk about it. Why did you want to talk? Just seeing some of the things that people say um, or have said, uh, you know, just surrounding teenagers going missing, uh, girls in particular, I guess. Um, I just feel like people are blind or choose to be blind, really, to kind of really what leads people to choose to run away. With her mother's support, she wants to help other teens, especially girls, who may look to leave with someone they've met many times online. I've been an honor roll student my whole life, pretty much. The bright honor roll student's disappearance last year led to a three-day nationwide search. At the time, Asia was last seen leaving Christiansburg High School willingly with an older man. She was found in Arkansas. I didn't leave because I had bad parents, <laughs> um, you know, I think that really I left because I have good parents, um, you know, I think that I just, I don't know, you know, they say you never really realize what you have until it's gone. Asia says her parents always looked out for her, wanting the best for her. Your parents, they want you to do good. They want you to have a good life. They want you to do good in everything that you're doing. She says it isn't social media. Social media isn't the problem. You know, social media isn't evil. It's not what people should be focusing on. Instead, it was her perception, she says, that she couldn't talk to her family that led her to talk to someone else. It's manipulation. It sounds good it sounds sweet it sounds you know like everything you want to hear it sounds like they're going to take all your problems away basically but like i saw and like i'm sure these girls see it leads to amber alerts you know um <laughs> nationwide manhunts doesn't lead to anything good asia says she struggled with depression and there's a lot of stressors. I mean, school to get all together is one. She encourages teens, talk to your parents, a teacher, a school resource officer. If you have a kid who's preparing for college, you know, graduation, or, you know, even just going to middle school, um, you know, just sit down and talk to them, see how they're feeling about it. What seems simple to some, she admits, may be harder to deal with for someone else. Asia knows she's lucky. I realize now that if these people really cared about you, they wouldn't take you away from people who really do love you.